gear up here, I have a response video for Candy Boot. We're gonna play her video a little bit and I'll respond to it. So here's Candy Boot's question for a Christian. Um, if you believe that Adam and Eve were the first two people, the first created by God, human beings, mm -hmm. How do you get from Adam and Eve, which could only be one color, regardless of what that color is, black, white, Asian, I don't care. How do you get from Adam and Eve to the races that you have today? Black, white, Asian. Within every human being, there is a set of tumblers. You've seen that spiral looking thing in biology class about the complex DNA structure. Well, within every human being, we have every possibility of every color known to the human rainbow. So a white person, they carry within themselves the, the building blocks for a black person. So from the darkest of dark skinned to the whitest of white, we're talking albino, you and I carry this code within our bodies. But the code has to be precise. These tumblers have to be switched. It's like a series of switches and a certain amount of switches are switched and then you come out the way you are. This is simple biology, although it's not simple. It's fearfully and wonderfully created. It's very, very complicated in that regard. We can't create ourselves. God created us. And the more you dive down into this realm of human existence, and why we are what we are, the more you're confronted with the fact that there has to be a God that created us. You and I have the possibility to be a million different colors. That's why some of us come out a little darker, a little lighter, with the same father and the same mother. Uh, those choices are restrained within those two uh, contributing forces, the egg and the sperm, they come together and then the tumblers come out. They, uh, it, this is all by design. So Adam and Eve had the potential for all the human beings in the world. Now let's flip the question around. The atheistic evolutionist believes that from a monkey, or an extinct species of ape, we have everything we see today, human being-wise. So the question is far more complex and far more troubling for the evolutionist than it is for the Christian. The Christian, I think, has the, the more sound answer. The evolutionist, now you're talking about fiction. If Adam and Eve were only one color, and we're all replicas, then everybody could only be one color. Candy boot, this is a chicken. It came out of an egg. Its ancestor, its great, 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 great ancestor was the wild jungle fowl. And through selective breeding, within all those wild jungle fowl, were, was the ability to create this little cotton candy coaching over here. Still a chicken. The potential, the potential is always there, no matter what size and shape. So you have big chickens and little chickens coming out of the egg. So you, you get one chicken, God created Adam and Eve, and, and from Adam and Eve we have all forms through time. We have all forms of human beings. Big ones, little ones, dark ones, light ones, just like the chicken over here. So it's simple biology, but it's God-created biology. It would be silly to say the chicken came out of a cat. Yeah, it would be silly to say that a man comes from a monkey. Yeah. Or an extinct species of ape. 